government always had newspapers, television, and channels to express their opinions. But for the more liberal opposition who had no tools for expressing themselves, the internet became already a major vehicle. When the internet fi finally be began making uh, sort of uh, a headway in Syria, a lot of people began noticing the potential for using it to establish independent avenues of expression. Most independent websites uh, uh, run by dissidents or independent journalists are blocked and they need, uh, and, and people who want to access them have to use proxy breakers. Karim Amir, who is an Egyptian blogger that was arrested two years ago, uh, last May there was a, a demonstration, simultaneous demonstration in 12 different cities around the world to ask for his release. A lot of uh, the people who were arrested, the young people, uh, a couple of years ago were 20-somethings basically. They were arrested for just operating an independent blog and they were sentenced to three to nine years in prison. I mean, very stiff sentences uh, just for operating an independent blog that was very mildly critical of the government. The Islamic Republic in its current form, with its current constitution, is a totalitarian regime. And by definition, it cannot tolerate opposition that questions its existence, the foundations of its existence. Although you have uh, over 400,000 websites that are banned in Iran and in Saudi Arabia, you have different softwares that are able to, do, uh, to work on a certain gateway uh, that will bypass these filters. I don't see any chance why, I mean, that, that, that this current government, based on this constitution, will ever uh, remove all restrictions. With all the respect to censorship, you cannot, in this world, uh, completely stop the flow of information.